really silly facial expression. Very cute. Oh, oh, I clicked into some sort of a super high def version. Oh, well, look, you can see the lines of the tapestry. Look at his belt necklace. What? The other day I remembered that the Met Museum has a lot of jewelry inspired by various kinds of artwork that they have at the museum in their collection. For example, this unicorn brooch inspired that beautiful tapestry. I think I was searching for a specific kind of jewelry. And they had something that fit the bell, the mat. And when I read the description, it said it was inspired by, I think, a stained glass window. So that made me want to take a closer look at their pieces. But I actually stopped myself the other night because I thought it might be fun to look at it. So, I thought we could start by looking at this overview blog of some of their newer pieces. So they have a bunch of butterfly jewelry. And it says it is inspired by various kinds of Japanese art. So it says, butterflies are beloved subjects in Japanese art, not only for their poetic beauty, but for their association with longevity in springtime. This shimmering jewelry in both delicate and statement designs is inspired by the mother of pearl butterflies decorating a marvelous Japanese box in the men's holdings of Asian art. So here is the box. Can I click to get the ultra high depth? Well, that's so high, high resolution. Is this butterfly smiling? Can you see? It looks like, yes, a little smile. He's made up. That's gotta be Mother of Pearl. Really pretty inlay. Let's see if it says. Um, the inlay is Mother of Pearl. So we're in gold and Mother of Pearl. So then there are these butterflies. A much more modern necklace. This looks really modern to me, even though it's inspired by something ancient. It honestly also might just be the way it's styled. Because these earrings could look like they're from another era, but she looks like she's from right now, you know what I mean? So then we have the example of the unicorn brooch from this tapestry from the late Middle Ages. He looks like those cats. Have you ever seen Middle Age artwork of cats? just look a little 
remarkable lamp with a geometric motif, the largest and rarest example of its kind, and it was owned by an apprentice in architect Frank Lloyd Wright's studio. It's then the piece inspired by that, so it had two things. These earrings.
there's that one and this one is American Maggie Jewelry McKay McKay a pair of 19th century cups and saucers epitomizing gilded age splendor in form are dazzling enamel jewelry and interesting how modern these designs look in, in terms of their style even though they are inspired by things that look not modern at all to me i mean modern in the in the design style not just that it was made recently there it's this looks very modern to me i think it's because it's so graphic whereas these look very ornate and patterned and not particularly graphic in the same way though of course i see the inspiration for sure Brooch, nods to a 19th century. 
century Swiss automaton in the form of a pearl laden enamel frog with ruby eyes. Uh oh, I almost looks like this is the old one or the new one. This is the old one. It's like a 1820 automaton. That was an automaton. It's a musical instrument. Skin Lion Jewelry The Regal Lion featuring in this golden jewelry comes from an Etruscan ring forged in the early 5th century BC and now in the men's Greek and the Roman art collection. Intaglio. Oh, I said that wrong. Then. Intaglio. Intaglio. I was saying the G, but you don't really. Intaglio. Not often a printmaking technique. So it's raised here then. Oh, look, they have several.
This was a far rock brooch. That's a very fun piece. It looks pretty detailed. 
most of these are differences from the listing, description, details, it's died quartz. Interesting. So it's died with this kind of smoky sort of pattern. It almost looks marbled, but it's a bit transparent, looks like. I wonder how that's done. So then they have all abandoned. That's a loop a magnifier. Some van Gogh sunflowers. Blushing berries, earrings. Earrings and necklaces. Is 
Mr. Holly, Miss Mistletoe. 
semi-precious amethyst. Again, calling something semi-precious a little confusing to me, but um, maybe they just wanted to know it. it's not like super high quality amethyst. And that's pretty. Peacock pearl earrings. some more earth day inspired earrings those look very cool they look so art deco light hellenistic carnelian necklace Jewelry color. 
direction. Like.